Pavelti sold the Olympian and most decorated artlet Simon Bowles who also recently covered the new Vanity Fair magazine checks modern women to stay clear of her relationship and leave her marriage alone but before we get right into all of those details first hey royalties kings and queens welcome back to the channel it's your girl royalty back with another celebrity relationship just to my returning subscribers you guys are the re mvp and if you're new you are so welcome please consider being a part of us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video thank you hey kings and queens welcome back as we're about to dive right into the incredible life and couples updates mixed with a little bit of recent drama of simon Biles and her husband jonathan owens let's start from the good path they've recently celebrated their first christmas together since tying the knot in april 2023 and the photos on instagram are just too sweet to handle if you've missed your love story and you'd like to take a stroll back in I have a couple of video of Simon Biles and her husband Jonathan Owens, their love story and all of those. You can click the card dropping right now to hit and that. But right now, fast forward to their first Christmas as a married couple. Actually, before Christmas, they had a beautiful fall photos, you guys. Their first fall photo as a couple, it was just beautiful in the pack with the four leaves and everything. And for Christmas, Moan and Jonathan decided to embrace the festive spirit in matching red and white pajamas with their furry companions they exchanged thoughtful gifts and indulged in a festive meal capturing the warmth of the holiday season simone shared a heartwarming photo on instagram in a caption that says merry christmas from us to you and jonathan posted a kiss under the mistletoe with the caption first christmas as mr and mrs owens jonathan flaunted a dreary boss from johnny dang apparently a gift from Simone. But you guys, before all this lovey dovey Christmas moment, a week prior, the couple went viral on a video from a podcast where the footballer player openly confessed to initially being unaware of whom Simone Biles is when they initially connected on the Riot dating app back in 2020. Could you believe that? Even the host on the show, he was acting like, boy, can't believe you, boy. Who are you talking about? He was just giving all of those vibes but then again jonathan went on to a sat that he considered himself the catch in their relationship confidently stating i always say that the men are the catch and you guys the criticism did not wait on the hallway they came jumping on him how in the hell did you pull simone by <laughs> Excuse me. Really, how she pulled me, man? That's the question. Oh, man. Lord Jesus. Now you with Freddie. Now it's back. Now, <laughs> now you listen, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Organic story, man. So, dating that. But, you know, you have to go through certain, like, criteria to make sure that you're who you are. So, and it's like, she pops up. And I'm like, mm, let me see what this is. Gymnastics. I ain't never, you know, I, I never really paid attention to gymnastics. So, it, it, it piqued my curiosity, you know. So, I'm like, okay, that's, 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 I'll see what's up. I swiped her and it said we match. So, I'm just like, okay. So, I'm going to see what's up. So, I go do my workout and I come back and I get, like, I have some likes on my Instagram. Instagram, you know, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, this might be. It. I'm like, okay. So I see what's up, and then I still waited. I'm like, man, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till I, you know, take a shower and everything. Then I come back to my phone, and then she messages me on the app, like, hey, you know what I mean? And I'm, man, that's a man. This gotta be fake. Like, I don't know. Just I didn't know who she was at the time, but like the first thing that I saw was that she just had a bunch of followers. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, she gotta be good. If yeah. I promise you, I'm a, I'm a real life story. When she won the Olympics, I was in college, and. We didn't have NBC, we didn't have Olympic channels, and we're in camp, we're in camp. Late, late, late July, early August, so I'm not paying attention to, you know, so I never would have had a moment to where I would have watched, like, you know. Chad, I'm gonna let you finish your story, man, continue. <laughs> Like this commenter who said, Sir, you are Simon Bow's husband. And another user who said, Being known as Simon Bow's husband and thinking you're the catch is wild. And this user says, Seemed like she was more interested than he was. Another commenter says, How's he the catch? He was a broke college student when she wifed him. And this user says, Please don't let this 10 second clip change the narrative. He literally honored her the entire interview and gave her thanks for helping his mental health. You can't buy peace. 
and that's so true you guys you know how these blogs just sent out a clip and everyone wants to run with the narrative like first of all there was someone who compared her to kiki palmer's baby daddy this guy is not broke he has a career he's an athlete he just in case by jonathan owens ruling on the field it's a fumble and it's a touchdown he's not broke he has some money may not be earning as much as simon bows he is not as popular as she is but he is not broke and really i don't see anything wrong in him saying he is the cash he's an attractive young man who also have a good career that can grow and can become very great so yeah he is the cash I think Simone is very secure in herself and she's not intimidated by that. And you guys, this couple have been going on really smooth and nice. There will always be those negative foes just waiting for some little glitch to run with and try to crash what this beautiful couple have going on. like you guys although this interview seem harmless but they can definitely cause a lot of damage to her marriage you can hear uh, kevin saying there's a lot of shots shots fired and then uh, kenan saying i know your name all of those things i don't know but have a few of the comments here said um, i would wear my medals around the house daily just to be petty another person said let her be a wife and let her man feel good do you all want her to emasculate him exactly and then this person says that man does not want her he doesn't and that person says not just that gymnastics is harder is that she's the best ever at a harder sport and he's nowhere near the best at his sport which isn't nearly as difficult lmaoo like yo can you imagine him reading all this comment it's definitely not good for their relationship so simon bowles and her husband have to be careful with these interviews and they have to be political in their answers because at the end of the day it's going to stir up you know problems for their relationship especially with the public adding their opinion yeah it didn't just stop there i'm coming you guys because they came for simone and of course she fired back so i hope simone bowers and georgia always protect their relationship from social media prowling eyes and nays that want to scratch them down because they have something good going on him saying he's the cash he did not say he was the prize because if it's a woman saying they are the cash or they are the prize, other women want to be like, yeah, she is self-aware, she has self-love. When is a man saying men are also the catch? Women want to be like he's self absorbed he's not into her, she loves him more. I don't think so. And people's opinion did not really matter in what these guys have going on however responded with a photo of himself and his wife with a caption that says unbothered just know we locked in over here and simone replied in his comment saying for life also a response to the ensuing criticism simone came to her partner's defense she shared a snapshot from their wedding on social media with a caption that simply said mood however some disgruntled females in the sisterhood did not stop antagonizing simone bow's husband they had a whole tiktok video talking about why he's a red flag why simone should notice the red flag they, they did not just create this content they went as far as going into simone's comments to spam her comments the whole red flag thing and why she's the price and he is nothing apparently simone is not trying to leave a diva life status but to simply be a wife who loves respect and honors her husband but some of these females cannot just get it and so they came trolling her account simone however posted on her ex account and said are you all done yet
guys it's really amazing when people who are not directly related to certain individuals just because they are celebrities think they have the explicit answer to their relationship issues simon made the decision to marry jonathan owens she was there while he sat at the podcast smiling from ear to ear without uttering a word because apparently what the young man was saying is true and she doesn't feel offended by the fact that he thinks he's a catch or that at the time he was in the camp she had to drive some miles to come see him and i don't see anything wrong in that but these diva females who are the prize of whom some of them have not even achieved the quarter of what simone has feel so entitled to compare simone bow's husband to kiki Palmer's baby daddy as well as letting her see the red flag so that what would happen if i may act so that she leaves her marriage for public opinion or not trying to offend the sisterhood makes no sense especially when some of this advice are coming from people who are single who have a broken relationship themselves or practically have done that is not to say if you're not in a relationship or if you're not married you cannot advise a married person but but truly if you're so good with advising then maybe you should start taking your own advice because it would elevate your life much better and take it from point b to point a and just let other people be especially those in a happy marriage to live their life the way that they choose this couple did not have time for negative energy and drama and they are living their life in total bliss and love as they have showed us in their christmas beautiful photos they are the epitome of couple goals always radiating joy and having a blast together as a couple together they are thriving as they are currently building their mansion home in houston texas where simone bows is from and as individual they are thriving in their various goals and aspirations simone buys recently covered the vanity fair magazine where she talked about marriage wag life with taylor swift and the paris olympics jonathan owens also doing his thing on the feed with his wife simone bows congratulating him during the whole nfl season also during their tough playoff loss Simone Bowes looking all dapper in her jacket and her color block boots was on the field throughout supporting her husband. I think they're doing great both as individual and as a couple and they'll continue to do so if they keep their relationship private from the public. You guys, what's your take on Simone and Jonathan's relationship? Do you agree with Jonathan or do you think they might be headed for doom as most celebrity marriages that comes up on social media? I pray not, I cast and I bow i rebuke because i really want these two to work and i'm hoping by god's grace that their marriage will succeed you guys share your thoughts in the comment section you know i love to hear your opinion and as always thank you so much for watching if you got to this point of the video do not forget to like share subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next one remember to pray work out work smart and slay